So this is a section from the new album, Sanctuary 3, and we're going to show how we multi-track and layer up all the instruments. And we start with a click, which is a cowbell, which has been programmed in. And we select the tempo and everything plays to that. So that just keeps all the instruments in time as we multi-track. So the first thing we're going to do is these African drums, two of them, different, different sounds. And I'll record that for about three or four minutes. So we've done one take now of the African drums, which runs for three, four minutes. And then I'm going to listen back to that and play along and double track it to the click. So we've recorded two and then we're going to do like a different rhythm and we're going to do four in total. The next instrument we're going to put on is a Baran and it's played with a beater and we're going to record it twice. So next up, uh, sleigh bells. So we've got Baran's and African drums multi-tracked, so sleigh bells. Uh, this is my absolutely battered um, Martin guitar. I've had it for quite a while, showing it no respect, but it's got such a great sound for recording. Really rings lovely, and I'm going to play these chords over the top. Uh, we need three chords on this. They repeat so we're going to put two of these down double tracked uh, next up is bass a bit of bottom end of the track uh, this is an old 1977 fender battered heaviest bass guitar in the world but a lovely sound uh, di straight in and hopefully it goes like this My favourite part uh, of this process and one of the best instruments to play is this Vakoda, Roland Vakoda module and you speak into this microphone and it goes through there and whatever chord you play on this is recorded and it gives you a sort of uh, yellow Mr Blue Sky kind of sound. So it's that, and it runs for the whole track. The piano is recorded in two parts. You've got this high. it all and then the big chords so I'll do the high one first
first electric guitar part to go on, uh, played on my trusty PRS guitar. Again, 25, 20, oh, 24 years old, I think this one is. Again, absolutely battered, but lovely sound. And it's got, uh, there's two parts. The first part is a clean uh, guitar solo, and it's got like an answer um, part as well. So I'll put the first part down. And there's a second guitar part which answers the first part. The next bit is a sort of um, rhythm bit and it's played twice the same thing and on the actual record the first one is as is with the overdrive and the second one has got like a, a lot of the bottom end taken out of it and placed quite distant so I'll play the first part in. Next up is another solo guitar played on the PRS, but with the back pickup and all the treble turn right down. It gives a real sort of creamy kind of sound, overdriven and compressed, sort of Brian May kind of sound on it. And it goes a bit like this. Big guitar solo on the end. It's played again on the PRS, but this time flat out. Everything on number 11. And it all goes through this little thing. This is the, uh, what gives it the sound. It's a uh, Q-Zone pedal, Crybaby. It's like a wah, but it's like a fixed wah. So instead of sweeping through the frequencies, you set it and it stays. But it gives a lovely, it gives you that kind of uh, creamy sustain overdrive so that's the key to it all and it's all going through a Marshall amp uh, to give you the overdrive two guests on this section. The first is the Synergy Singers. Uh, we went to London to record them and it's multi-tracked. They record it three or four times, the different harmonies and it comes in from the middle section on. One of the best bits uh, on this section is obviously uh, Simon Phillips and his drums. They were recorded in LA 
and uh, Simon set the parts over and as usual you bring them up in a straight line and it sounds amazing. Timpani, uh, lovely sound, uh, say once you know how to hit it, not in the middle, but on the end. And it comes in at the very end of the piece, some hits and a, a roll on the end. The final instrument to go on are the tubular bells. Uh, it's got a lovely sound and it's held, the sustain is held by a foot pedal. Played with the mallet and it comes on the very end. The big discovery for this album has been the use of the gong and it just adds so much to the dynamics of the record and hit with this rather large mallet, it goes on forever. And it comes in on the very end 